gross. Something just oh. So this morning we have a massive amount of bees on board. They're just uh, searching for water, of course. Some anchorages are worse than others. But uh, this is massive this morning. It's just about the worst as we've seen. There is no water here. There's no standing water anywhere. Well, we accidentally just touched bottom with Blue Pearl. <laughs> we have uh, two feet below the keel, but that's in the front of the boat. And back here, where we are just a few feet from the beach, we just felt her kind of, <laughs> I mean, it's totally fine. It's a sandy bottom, but a little unsettling. And of course, it's been completely flat here. No swells at all for three days we've been here and suddenly a power boat goes by. This is the second boat we've seen in three days. And now we have swells. So we're hitting the boats moving like this and hitting the bottom every, just a few, just a few times, but still it's quite unsettling. 1.7 feet below the keel. Ooh. Uh, but good news is here, the tide's going up. So we're right here. Just an awkward coincidence that we have both a very low tide this morning and the wind shifted our keel around uh, towards the beach where it's the most shallow. And every once in a while, we can just so feel a weird feeling when we bump and the whole boat just sort of does a little shake. That's that a is a very uh, <laughs> uncommon feeling aboard. Well, between the bees, the super low tide and bouncing off the bottom, we decided to go ahead and take off. I just put up the mizzen and the main all by myself while we're here at Anchorage with of course the guidance of my husband and the uh, boat hook because the sails don't always go up properly and uh, because I'm still learning. So it's fun to not have to be told which line to grab, which cleat to open, which all the terminology that I'm still learning. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of time and the desire to actually learn to try to understand it all because there's a lot about sailing that is just common sense. Okay, you ready to go? I'm gonna idle forward, okay? Pulling up anchor by hand is quite exhausting and is definitely proven to keep us in one place a little bit longer than we usually would because it's like, so do we wanna move? Oh yeah, we gotta pull up the anchor, <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, at least we had the ability to pull up the anchor. It could be worse. It, not really sure how, but I, it could be worse. We would, I don't know. Anyway, we're solving fun. Bay of Conception, here we come. Yep. How many miles did you say we got? 23. 23 nautical miles. It's going to be a little lumpy because we've had some north winds, so uh, Swells. the lumps are going to be right on the beam. So we'll see how we do. we got some good wind. We've got seven knots. Awesome. It feels good already. It's, it's just now 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. We've already got seven knots of wind. True. And so... Uh, we haven't had that in weeks. I don't think it's been just dead calm until 10 o'clock, so uh, we're good. We're hopeful for some uh, really good tailwinds here coming out of the south and southeast, so we're gonna kick some butt today, I think. Yeah. We just saw a whale, it was so cool. I'm just standing in the cockpit and there it was right next to our boat. Came up, Just we just saw the back, the whole backside of it came up a couple times. I didn't expect to see whales this far north. I thought we were completely done with that season, but I guess not, pretty cool. having problems again with our autopilot. We are heading close to the first anchorage in the Bay of Conception. It might even be considered a few miles outside of the Bay of Conception. And we're going about six and a half, seven knots in almost 17 knots of wind. Three sails out. We've had, we've been sailing almost the entire day, which has just been fantastic. A few, few times we had to turn the engine on, but uh, it's been a very nice, calm day. We've done wind sailing all day. How's it going? Well, I think this has been, you know, that slop in the wheel has been a problem forever. Yep. That broken off drill bit, that's somebody trying to solve that problem. Ah. They tried to drill through the freaking brass, which wasn't a problem, and then they hit that steel. Right. And it broke the bit off, and uh, they just left it and walked away from it. Yeah, I see there's a big old pin. There's a, there's a keeper that uh, is in a slot but it, i'm it's wore out it's worn it's worn out some so that's why there's slop look how high this cable is here coming into this this is the quadrant mm -hmm. this is the quadrant right here this piece of brass but look how 
high this cable is compared to here. So every time you turn it, it scrapes on this slot. It should be dropped down uh, like a half an inch or more, three quarters of an inch. Because there's no way to raise. I have to drill new holes here and drop this pulley down or else somehow take the slop out of this. But that, see, even if you take the slop out it of that, still is too, it's still too high. Yeah. Do like, the pulley? I love the pulley looks a little high too. It looks like there's some, someone raised them up because there's new, there's holes here. But there's, there's a whole nother set of holes. And it almost looks like maybe, look out, there's some wear across the very top edge of this right here. So maybe this, maybe this cable know. got on, gone on top. It rode yes. up here and somehow. Look how this cable's too loose. I can move it. Yep. At the very least, this needs to be repaired. This, this, this slop. That'll help. That'll help. But also redrill these holes and put that down a little bit, another half an inch at least. Look how it's freaking way up above this slop. I'm gonna tighten up the cable. I'm gonna put some grease on here. Okay. And hopefully it doesn't wear out the quadrant before we get to our haul out. haul out and get this thing repaired. Yeah, I'm just trying to tighten up these steering cables a little bit. Maybe I can take some slop out of a wheel. Huge rock right here. Oh my gosh. Note to anyone who wants to take their dinghy up the river in Mulahe. There are shallow, very shallow spots and lots of giant boulders that are not visible at all until you hit them. <laughs> Man, that was a bumpy ride and we really did some damage to the propeller. Yeah, but uh Need a new propeller now. But it, we're all safe, thankfully. And uh, we we arrived at low tide, which is not, not good. But uh, this is really the only time that we can come here because high winds are always expected every day in the afternoon here in Mulahe. So we try to come early in the morning to do our grocery shopping. Probably it's okay at high tide. But we're low tide. It's way down four feet probably. Yeah. Maybe more. Anyway, we're in Mulahe and it's beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Dude, I thought it was a ball that was left in the water. Wow. Oh, they go forever. Okay, I just looked it up. These are cannonball jellyfish. I have never seen anything like it in my life. They just keep on coming forever. <laughs> Cannonball jellyfish right there. That's cool. Holy smokes, folks, we made it. Woohoo! I remember being here like it was yesterday. So this is one of our favorite places that we camped at in our RV coming down to, uh, coming down the Baja Peninsula, Mulahe. It's a little paradise in the middle of a desert. Really beautiful here. Okay, we got groceries. Now we're gonna head back up river and hope for the best. Oh, wow. We came and we conquered. Or we just came, I'm not sure if we conquered. We conquered. <laughs> Except for we missed out on the fish tacos since uh, they were, nobody had fish tacos today. So that's disappointing, but that's all right. We got some restaurants. Yeah. Two restaurants had no fish. No fish tacos. Well, we got some Topo Chico, which is delicious, fizzy water. We're feel refreshed and ready for a 
seven plus mile journey back to Blue Pearl and check on our babies. The wind is really picking up here, so we're a bit concerned what it's going to be like out there. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Darn it. Yeah, there's some more over there. Thankfully, that time it hit the bottom of the boat, not the prop. It's so murky, the water is so murky, you just can't even tell. But we thought that with the tide going up, we would have been better. Okay. We made it back to the boat in one piece, but man, we are run ragged. Oh my goodness. That was a long drive back from Mulahe and uh, we're wet, totally got soaked. I'm sandy. No, I'm not sandy. I'm salty and I'm tired. We're both tired, so, but we made it and we got groceries and we are about ready to head south into the Bay of Conception. Uh, I think we'll leave tomorrow as soon as the winds are favorable. We're very much looking forward to getting back to the Bay of Conception. It's been a long time since we've been there. We have one sail out, the jib, and no engine. We are approaching Santa's back. It's very, very exciting. We have spent the entire day sailing here. We decided not to turn the engine on at all, even when we dropped down to about a knot and a half for quite some time, because we only had eight and a half nautical miles to go today and we weren't in a big hurry. So we are arriving here. We have two and a half nautical miles to go. Uh, we just now picked up some pretty good speed. We're going over four knots now at nine and a half knots of wind, which is fantastic. Um, but it's just been a nice, very quiet, a little bit boring day just because there's not a lot of action. And when you're downwind sailing, oh my gosh, it's like you're not even moving at all. But to watch the scenery go by for free, it's a pretty great way to move. I'm very happy we didn't buy a power boat. I'm, I'm happy to know that we can use power or sails to get from A to B. So I'm uh, very happy with the sailboat, even though they are a lot of work. Sent us back. It feels so good to have finally made it to Santa's back. So very many fond memories of being here. Of course, uh, only in our RV and then with the uh, catamaran seascape and uh, the great time we had on their boat with them that day in Playa Santa's back. And here we are, back again, only this time in our own boat. And it feels so exciting. How bad is it, babe? Oh my goodness. It's gone. Man, we ate this thing up. It was okay. Bad, bad. Out of balance. Oh. That's quite a big deal. Apparently it's a releasing of the fish.
good news. This darling little restaurant in El Burro has reopened. After it was flooded out a year ago, the bad news is we came all the way over here in the dinghy and forgot the wallet. So we will not be enjoying any pina coladas tonight. That's okay though. We do have some beer on ice in the dinghy and we brought our beach chair. So we're still gonna enjoy a lovely time on the beach. Must have some nests. Ooh. Yeah, we are unwanted. Daisy, you stay here. We're going six and a half knots with 13 knots of wind. And we're heaped over pretty good, and I'm not very good at it. Yikes! Oh gosh. Okay, I'm at the helm, and um, Chris is bringing in the fishing lines that we just had out an hour ago because we were there was no wind and we were barely moving. But now there's lots of wind and um, I'm still really getting used to, or trying to get used to being, I don't know, sailing. I'm uh, not quite as adventurous as my husband, but uh, I'm working on it. Ooh. Seven and a half knots, 13 knots of wind. This is fantastic sailing on a beam reach. Excellent day of sailing. We made really good time. Oh my yeah. gosh. 23 nautical miles flew by. Three sails out. We have the main, the mizzen, and the jib. We have we have had we did 20, 20 plus miles on the same tack today, <laughs> reaching the whole way. It's fantastic. It's been good. Very nice. Unfortunately, this restaurant was closed, which was known as a possibility as we met some really nice local folks uh, when we dropped off our dinghy at the beach. And uh, he said, sometimes it's open, sometimes it's not. But uh, but he knows uh, another one, a Mexican restaurant that's open is just on the way, Julio. So we're gonna go see if we can locate that. Also, we've met the other two boats in the Anchorage. They're gonna join us for lunch. So it'd be nice to uh, have a little gathering of neighbors. Okay, and here's where we're going. <laughs> it's more authentic. Mariscos. All right. Nicest place in town. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go try it out. Okay. Okay guys, cheers to new friends and yeah. new places. <laughs>
god. Invited this super fun crew over to Blue Pearl tonight, so happy hour starts shortly. That was a lot of fun, you guys. <laughs>